Hi everyone, it's Wendy. So I'm on to do the letter P for Shabby Dabby Doodah's uh, 3 in 30 alphabet challenge. Um, no, not P, sorry. O. 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 <laughs> o. And O is going to be for old supplies. So I actually started going through a few boxes that I know that I haven't touched for a year or two, but then I come across, um, come across, I came across my flow book for paper lovers. Uh, I have had this for about three, maybe four years, I'd say going on four years, and I've really been hoarding it. <laughs> I just... <laughs> I have used um, a few little, like I have ripped out a few little things in here, um, but I thought I'm going to use this today. So I went and marked a few pages, like I've cut out, uh, ripped out a few um, of these envelopes that you can make up. So I thought I might use that, and then what else have I got here that I've marked? Oh, this is some. Um, like pop out butterflies on this page here and then I've also got oh some di some of these diamond shapes which look pretty cool I like those so that's what I'm going to use today from my old supplies well I think I am it's just such it's uh, it's an awesome paper lovers book and look at that that's nice isn't it and I really have not touched it for a good couple of years uh, I don't really have anything that's older than that um, I had a good look but I thought that's what I'm going to use today make something out of these out of this um, flow uh, flow book Okay, so I've just got my um, timer over here for 30 minutes. So I'm just going to get started. And I do still have my sewing machine set up here. So I'm just going to use some things for old supplies out of this flow book. I really should use it a lot more because it's got some absolutely gorgeous papers and stuff in it. It really does. But I'm just hoarding it. You shouldn't hoard your things, you should use them. <laughs> okay, alright, so I'm just going to press start. And I think the first one I'm going to do is just one of those envelopes. Because um, I want it to go in my new journal. Uh, the envelope does have, I mean the paper does have the envelope. Uh, already drawn on there so just thinking I might use this one here because I like having nice bright things in my in my journal all right so it's just a matter of cutting this out and then just folding it on the creases so I'm not sure if this is actually cheating or not, but it's old supplies anyway. So and not having anything that's older than three or four years. Um, this was the only thing I could think of. Oh, uh, I do have a lot of old books. But like I just, I really just purchased those like within the last six months. So I don't, I think this is a lot older than the old vintage books that I buy to, to cut up. Okay, so cut that out there. Pretty slow going. Okay, cut that out, and all you do is 
fold it up on the fold lines like that one there and there and there and then that gets folded up there so that um, that is the envelope which I don't think I folded that really straight but that's okay it's gonna do me so what I might do um, I'm just thinking if I really want to glue all those down like glue that up like that because there's actually space in here that you could write and journal on so okay I'm not going to glue it but I will go around and just ink all the edges and maybe put some other kind of little decoration on it that's the way it goes there I'm just thinking if I leave it opened then I could always add a, a photo in there and leave the rest for journaling on so that's actually what I might do okay so that will go like that and I will need a paper clip for it as well so just to decorate this I'm going to grab my little photo box and I think I might just pull out um, let me have a look okay all right I like that one there from hubby's 70th birthday so I might just cut that down so that's going to pop in there I'll go round sorry I hit the camera um, just around the edges so I'm going to leave that there and then I can leave the rest of this around here for um, for journaling can't I yes that might be the go so there's really not much to decorating this one because it's sort of already done itself but it's old supplies so I'm going to go with it Okay, so I'll just put it on this side here right there and that can fold up like that and go like that that is crooked there um, I just don't think I folded it straight but that's okay I'm just grabbing a paper clip so a little one or a bigger one maybe that size oops where'd that go there it is okay so I've got a paper clip to put that on and maybe I don't know decorate up the front somehow so I'll grab some of those um those pop out butterflies I think because I'm going to use it they're not really very colourful okay so I won't use those oh what can I put on it let me think 
I don't know, maybe a little bit of lace or something just to add something on there. Gosh, I don't know now. I've got a flower. That looks nice. I like the flower on there. Um, something underneath the flower. I've got a little bit of lacy trim here. Okay, let's just cut that out. And what's the time? 21 minutes left. So Okay, that's going to do me, I think, for that. It's a little bit of decoration on it. Maybe just cut this around a bit. And just add a little bit of lace there and the flower. Okay, and I'm trying to think of something else to do. Um, I still need a few like pockets. Right, a bit of lace just up there. And some glue on the back of the flower notice there's a couple of more ladies starting to join in Tina's challenge which is lovely okay so I'm going to cut that just there and that just there so that one there is actually going to go straight into my journal. Let's put it at the back somewhere. And I'm just going to actually flip that, because I've got the photo there, I'm going to leave that for some writing. And maybe up the top. Yeah, okay, I'm going to put it up the top there and then just attach that with a safety pin uh, not a safety pin a um, paper clip okay so there's my first one which is really not much at all is it <laughs> okay so now let's just get something else out of here like a another paper I'm not sure if I wanted to do anything with those um, those diamonds. I'm just looking for a look. There's a piece of paper, plain papers, blue, pink. Okay, let's grab that one, pink and green. So these pieces of paper just pull out of there, which is rather handy and what am I going to do with it? Okay let's make one of those little fold out things but I'm going to put that down like that and then fold that over there Okay, so I'm actually going to glue that onto a page and have that come out like that. So I need something to put on here. Um, I've got some old book paper. paper something else are there any images in here I could use maybe not 
Um, oh look, it's got an old, it's got an envelope in there. Maybe you could use that. Vellum envelope. The papers are just so pretty. That's nice. Okay, I'm going to pull that one out. It's got some nice... And I like that one too now. Okay, so I'll just grab a couple of these. Rabbits. Okay, right, stop looking at the book, Wendy. Down to 16 minutes. Okay, <laughs> so with this one, I'll have that as a little fold out. So let's just... something on here okay and glue glue stick and paper just to put some glue on here so I don't get it everywhere. Okay, so let's just put that there. And that green's really nice. Maybe let's just rip a couple of these feathers out here. Because they do look rather nice. And just rip around. really oops that's really hard to rip okay okay so I've got one there I could cut them but I'm just thinking just rip Wendy rip <laughs> Okay, rip. Okay, let's just put a bit of ink around these. Okay, so I've got a couple of feathers that I could use. Hmm, I don't know if I like that. Got a bit of lace here. That I could use as well. Um, I still need something else on there, don't I? I'm going to cut that lace in half. Actually, might just hang it down the bottom here. Do I want a bit up the top as well? Hmm, I don't know. All right, I'll put some of this down here. So that can just go there. And let's put that one there. Let's just put that one just there. And have that one, I don't know, coming down somehow up there. That'll do. put that lace up the top okay so we'll have that one just coming down there and maybe a saying or something on there okay 
that looks okay. Cherish. I'll just straighten this up a bit. And ink around this edge. Got 11 minutes left. Okay, let's just put that there. Um, might grab. Oh, have I got any um, cheesecloth? I don't know. I don't think so. No cheesecloth. There it is, a bit of cheesecloth, just to put under it. Okay, so put some glue there. Put some cheesecloth on. And the little cherish dictionary meaning. Just there. Right, I'll cut that there. That needs to be cut there. And there. And just put a bit of ink around here. Okay, so that's going to go straight into my book, which I'm going to try and do pretty fast, just on a page. Um, let's have a look, have a look, have a look. Something where it's a bit plain because then I can... And that's going to open out like that and I can put some photos along here. Okay, so that's how that one's going to go. Um, actually, I'm going to just put it in like a pocket as well. So I'm going to do that now because then it's in my book. And I'm just still thinking of one more thing to make. Wow, this time seems to be going really fast. Okay, so that's going to go right there in my book. Just hold it for a minute and that's going to open out like that. And I've also got going to have a pocket in here that I can add like a little tag or something to. Okay, so that's two things. Now the last one, get rid of some of this stuff. Um, The last one. What am I going to do with the last one? Grab another old paper supply out of here. Um, oh, come on, Wendy. My brain has gone totally dead. I'm thinking I could use some of these to make something, and I just don't know what. Oh, I know. Okay, I'm going to rip this out. Yeah, why not? So. Right, now this one, let me think, okay, I'm going to cut some of these out, so they're like little triangle, uh, not triangle, diamond patterns, right, and what am I going to do with it? Okay, let's fold it in half. And make it into a paper clip, altered paper clip. So, just need my hole punch, which is here. And let's punch a little hole up in the centre up there. 
and grab a couple of the smaller paper clips. Okay, so they're here. Let's grab some of them out. Okay, and we shall. Oh, I've just pulled a muscle in my side. Let's see if that works in there. Okay, I'll put the the big one in there. Come on, come on, Wendy. And pull that over there. So that wasn't really straight that paper clip, but I'm gonna go with it. Okay, so let's just if I had a little bit more room, I would actually um sew around it with my sewing machine but because these aren't very um, very wide or long let's just see how that goes okay so there's like a little altered paper clip Okay, so press that down. Let's see if I can get another. I'll cut out some more. Okay. Now if I fold that, now I'll just make another one I think, because <laughs> oh, I've really gone brain dead so I'll try and get that in the centre this time. And four minutes left. Okay, push that down there. So normally I would actually have that long side on the outside, but I haven't done it this time. Okay, so put that there, press that together a little bit of ink around it. Oh, now I could grab one of those um, butterflies, couldn't I? And decorate those with the butterflies, the pop-out butterflies. Okay, so let's just pop a couple of these out. Where does that rip there? Oh, come on. Oh, I cut his little tail off, but that doesn't matter. That'll do. I don't know if those little, their little tail things are supposed to come off. Okay, so I popped out a couple of butterflies. And I'll link around that. Some, somehow in a fashion. See I cut the little tails off but they didn't pop out. Okay and we'll put a little bit of cheesecloth underneath the butterfly. Gosh that time went so fast today. I think you get out of practice using the timer. Okay so put that on there and I do find it is a lot easier if you actually plan ahead <laughs> which I didn't today because I also kept thinking about old supplies goodness what am I going to use so okay so I've got that on there and then the same on this little one here put a bit of cheesecloth on 
let's wrap that over a bit okay and just roughly ink around this little butterfly and put that on okay all right so I've made two altar paper clips out of that one there now I'll just get my book and where's that one there's that one and where's my other one okay so that's it I've got a minute 18 left and I've made or have I is that going to go on there lift that up a bit ok try again ok so I've made a little altered paper clip there and I'll just put this other one on here too Why doesn't that want to come up? They're pretty flat. Okay, there we are. Okay, so that was really simple. Two altered paper clips. Just a very simple, and that's stuck, um, flip out. And I've just decorated that there. But when I, um, I will get round to like grabbing one of my photos and like putting that in there whoops what's happened there okay that's my 30 minutes up that time just went so fast so that's my little flip out there oh now I'm thinking I hope I was in screen and I can use each one of these panels to put a photo on plus I made that there into like a pocket or, or a little tuck spot so there's that one and my just my two little altered paper clips which can hold something there so there's that one and that one and then the last one from my old supplies was this one which is I was going to pull that straight off then <laughs> which is just one of the patterned envelopes that was in that book which I'm going to leave out like that okay Alright, so that's it guys. <laughs> that's all. That's all today. Wow, I just don't feel like I really accomplished something today. But I did, didn't I? So that and the two paper clips and that envo envelope. And that's from just my old supply book that I've been hoarding. <laughs> I should use it more often because it's got some gorgeous papers in there but the papers are so pretty I just don't want to use them because I know I'll never ever get another one alright so that's it hope you enjoyed um, starting to fill up my new photo photo journal too okay you all have a great day and I'll catch you later bye bye